what I mean? It's not my day to speak, then. I gotta go, right? <laughs> good, Mike. All right, we're good. So this defensive line rotation that you guys are hoping for, what's the goal as far as, like, how often do you want to switch out guys on the line? Uh, it just depends on the series, how the plays, you know, how the plays are going, uh, on the drive. We'd like to keep everybody fresh, uh, get a good rotation, getting guys in and out. Is there an ideal number of how many you want being ready? Uh, I mean, if you're ready to play, you're ready to play. You can take 10 reps and take 10 reps, you know. Uh, the whole idea is just keep everybody fresh. Yeah. Seems and like that. Are the guys bought in knowing that this isn't like the 75 snap type of position that to be fresh, you need to be on and off the field regularly? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Seems like there's a lot more depth and talent on the edge for you guys this season. Just can you talk about uh, getting uh, Tyler Upshaw there and what he's brought to the table? Yeah, I mean, uh, he's a veteran guy in my terms. You know, veteran guy meaning he has a lot of playing experience. Mm -hmm. So uh, just that playing experience alone of what he's seen, what he's been through. Obviously played in a great conference. Um, so just his leadership, that's what I'm leaning on him for. Uh, and then just the expectations of, okay, how do we do things on a day-to-day -day basis? And then what have you seen out of a guy like Isaiah Taylor who has been working a lot with the ones this training camp? Isaiah Taylor. I, sorry, Isaiah, Isaiah Ward. Isaiah Ward. My, okay. my yeah, sorry you about know, that. All those guys, uh, just bottom line is we're just trying to still build trust and chemistry. So, you know, we still got this week and then the next week, and then we'll kind of make some decisions, kind of narrow things down. So. What's that? What's the board doing, though? His athleticism. I think uh, if you look at his passer skill set, that's what he brings to the table. Um, but then, you know, at the same time, we're just looking for effort, looking for trust, looking for team, uh, team chemistry. So. How nice is it knowing that you have yeah, I think just size overall, you know, um, you know, lengthwise, size-wise, you know, the uh, plug up, uh, you know, A gap, B gap, uh, it just helps in general. You got a lot more, you can cover a lot more ground. Uh, CL is a guy, one of the guys you brought in here in the summer. What have you seen from him so far? Yeah, he's another guy who played another, you know, obviously in the Big Ten, great conference. Uh, you know, that league, whether you want to consider it a running league, a physical league type of deal. Um, but he just brings playing. He started two years over there. So he, playing, he brings that experience, that veteran leadership that we need with some of our younger guys, you know. So. Kind of where Jason Harris is. I mean, we didn't see him a lot of rotations last week. Yeah, it just depends on rotation wise and where their development is at. Uh, football IQ wise, uh, play wise, scheme wise, and then kind of go from there. Going over to linebackers, how would you evaluate the uh, competition between Daniel and Justin right now? I, I couldn't, I couldn't speak for the linebacker. I'm not the linebackers coach. You know, I mainly deal with the in interior guys, uh, down the line guys. So, when you compare a guy like Jacob to guy last year, this year, where's the biggest jump that you're going to see that you've got that? Uh, football IQ wise, you know, that's one thing. Uh, you come in as a freshman, you're learning the speed and the tempo. Uh, College football is obviously way different than uh, high school. So one, how fast you can adapt to that, and then not only can you adapt to that, but you know a lot of other you're learning schemes and plays and you know new things that you probably never ever heard of uh, at the high school level. So for him to make that transition from last year to this year, it, it's night and day. As a coach, can you tell like when it clicks? Like is it just a practice, or is it more where it's kind of gradually happening? You don't have to yell too much at those guys. You know? That's when you know it, it's clicking. You know, so those guys just handle their business the right way. What kind of influence Man, it's been awesome just to listen to him teach, listen to him coach, listen to him to bring other ideas to the table that I've never heard of, um, and then just continue to for myself being a D line guy for me to be in a room with him to continue to expand my horizons in terms of back end coverages. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't say nothing but great things about the offensive line, so making the defensive line better. You know, so uh, I think the offense, uh, they're doing really, really good things, and obviously we got to up our level to continue to compete at the same level with them. You got a scouting report for your son? How's he, how's he been doing so One more question. He's doing good. I mean, he's just he's lifting and stuff like that. And, um, Obviously, I feel very blessed to have him around and stuff like that. But uh, between what was it fall time to now, you know, you can't coach size, you can't coach height. You know, so those are some of the things that he's bringing to the table right now. So, is that it? All right, awesome.